veterans in the cabinet and one former police officer, our counsel, so do not mess with our counsel, all right? So we have two PhDs and one doctor in the cabinet. So it's an impressive group and grateful that all of you are willing to serve. And with that, I think uh, uh, I speak for everyone. Governor, you knocked it out of the park yesterday. Pam, earlier today, had her, her brunch. Um, you're setting a pretty high bar for your cabinet. So without further ado, His Excellency, Governor Northam. Please be seated. Thank you. Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the floor of the Senate. I, I'm at home here. Uh, I've been here for four years. I almost say are all the senators ready to vote, have all the senators voted, but we won't go there. But I did want to acknowledge someone who's with us today that uh, is a friend to the Commonwealth of Virginia and has certainly been a friend to me uh, for the last 10 years, and, and that is the clerk of our Senate, Madam Clerk Susan Char. Susan, please stand up. What a, what a job she has done, and a lot of what you experienced yesterday, the inauguration and how well it was run is because of Susan and her staff. So Susan, thank you for your service and thanks for your friendship. Um, I, I would also like to thank our transition team, and you all have been recognized, but what amazing work you all have done. And i, I just tell you kind of a, a little bit of a, the history of this is that, you know, the campaign uh, was fast and furious, and obviously the, the last few weeks it, it even gets faster and more furious. And, and they came to me a, a couple weeks before the election said, do you want to start talking about transition? Uh, because they it said it's going to be a lot of, a lot of moving parts uh, once the election is behind. And I said, no, I, I don't want to do that. I'd rather continue to run this campaign and then we'll uh, look at the results and then go from there. But literally, uh, we woke up the morning of the 8th of November and, and really hit the ground running. And so I, I couldn't thank my transition team enough for the, the work that you have done. And, and also, uh, you haven't gotten as much credit as you should, but uh, this young man, this, are you a millennial? I think so. All right. <laughs> this young millennial to my, my left, uh, Clark Mercer, was my chief of staff for the last four years, and uh, I cannot say enough good things about him. And, of course, your wife, Kelly, and your, your beautiful family who is with us. And I thank you for your service, and, and thank you for your friendship as well. I appreciate you all being with us yesterday at inauguration. It was a very exciting day uh, for me and, and Pam and our family, and, and I think for Virginia. Justice Lemons, thank you so much for your service, and, and also thank you for being here today uh, on a Sunday afternoon, and this is a, a very important time for the, for the Commonwealth as, as we move forward. Uh, these are not easy decisions of who fills these cabinet positions, and I am very, very proud of all of the those that have chosen to serve the Commonwealth. And I, I remind people all the time that I think it's a duty for all of us to give back. Um, uh, we have had, I think, a lot of fortunes in our lives, and, and it's always good to give back to public service. And there are a lot of ways to give back, whether it be through the church or coaching the Little League team or, or serving for the Commonwealth of Virginia. And these are not necessarily the easiest times. We have tremendous, tremendous challenges uh, that we face every day. And so for those of you that have chosen to serve on the cabinet and give back to Virginia, and you have to remember we are, we are touching the lives of many people across this great commonwealth. And so, so this is not to be taken lightly, uh, and I appreciate you all's willingness to, to step forward and, and serve. And we're going to work hard. Uh, four years, believe it or not, and uh, Aubrey, I know some of the folks here have been on the cabinet, uh, Carlos, uh, for the last four years. Four years goes by very quickly, and so we're going to hit the ground running uh, tomorrow morning and, and get to work and do what's in the best interest of the Commonwealth. So thank you all, and I, to all the, the families and friends and guests, welcome uh, to Richmond, welcome to the, the Senate, and uh, uh, welcome to helping us uh, uh, find a better way uh, for Virginia. So that's, that's what we're here to do, and, and we look forward to serving. So thank you. And, Clark, would you like me to turn this over to uh, the Justice, Chief Justice Lemons? Thank you, sir, for being here.
Governor, let me tell you, I've uh, been to any number of inaugurations, but your speech yesterday was without question the finest I've ever heard. Well, I appreciate it. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. And this is a very special day, not only for the governor, but for the Commonwealth and for a number of people who are about to take the oath of office and for their families to celebrate. And so we embark on these uh, administration of oaths uh, with the idea of the governor's speech in mind. And when I ask you if you will faithfully and impartially discharge all the duties incumbent upon you from your office, I hope you'll remember that that includes finding and following your moral compass. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, sir. Raise your right hand. And we have some wonderful helpers here. <laughs> Repeat after me. I, Clark Mercer. I, Clark Mercer. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All of the duties incumbent upon me. As Chief of Staff to the Governor. As Chief of Staff to the Governor. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. And now we'll have the Deputy Chief of Staff serving in her fifth gubernatorial administration, Suzette Denslow. Suzette and I sit next to each other at all of the uh, State of the Commonwealth's address, and I, I refer to her as my seatmate. <laughs> Are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Suzette Denslow. I, Suzette Denslow. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor. As Deputy Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. This next cabinet member was an obvious choice, another Eastern Shore native and a doctor, Secretary of Administration, Dr. Kiana Connor. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am. Please raise your right hand. I, Kiana Connor, do solemnly swear. I, Kiana Connor, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All of the duties incumbent upon me. As Secretary of Administration. As Secretary of Administration. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
So Bettina Ring comes to us from Governor McAuliffe's administration, where she served as a state forester, and she has earned a very well-deserved promotion as our next Secretary of Agriculture and Forestry. Bettina Ring. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, sir. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Bettina K. Ring, do solemnly swear. I, Bettina K. Ring, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All of the duties incumbent upon me. As Secretary of Agriculture and Forestry. As Secretary of Agriculture and Forestry. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. So Governor Northam's last cabinet announcement last week, we saved the best for last. Uh, commerce and trade folks are very curious uh, who would uh, fill this position, and we are so very excited to have Esther Lee as our next Secretary of Commerce and Trade. There you go. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, sir. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Esther C. Lee, do solemnly swear. I, Esther C. Lee, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge that I will faithfully and impartially discharge all of the duties incumbent upon me all of the duties incumbent upon me as Secretary of Commerce and Trade as Secretary of Commerce and Trade to the best of my ability to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations Thank you, sir. The governor made very clear throughout the campaign that he wanted a teacher in the position of Secretary of Education, someone with classroom experience who could identify and relate to teachers across the Commonwealth. And we are very grateful and lucky to have a Marine, an eighth grade civics teacher, Adif Carney, as our Secretary of Education. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Uh, yes, sir. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Atif M. Carney, do solemnly swear. I, Atif M. Carney, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And, the, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All of the duties incumbent upon me. As Secretary of Education. As Secretary of Education. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.
We have a familiar face moving from Secretary of Transportation to Secretary of Finance, a successful businessman from Hampton Roads and good friend of the governor, Aubrey Lane. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Aubrey L. Lane, Jr. I, Aubrey L. Lane, Jr. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All of the duties incumbent upon me. As Secretary of Finance. As Secretary of Finance. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Having a doctor serve as governor, there was a lot of interest in who our Secretary of Health and Human Resources would be. And I think you'll find Dr. Dan Carey to be remarkably pa passionate and will do remarkable things for the people of Virginia. Dr. Carey. him there a little bit that probably <laughs> probably would make a better photograph <laughs> are you prepared to take the oath of office I am your honor raise your right hand and repeat after me I Daniel Carey do solemnly swear I Daniel Carey do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge that I will faithfully and impartially discharge all of the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as Secretary of Health and Human Resources as Secretary of Health and Human Resources to the best of my ability to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I think it's safe to say that Governor Northam would not be in this position if it weren't for our next individual, Matt Strickler, who served as his aide for several years in the Senate of Virginia. Legislative accomplishments that, 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 uh, that he was able to achieve, uh, Matt was right behind him all the way, and he comes to us now from the uh, Natural Resources Committee in D.C. So your next Secretary of Natural Resources, Matt Strickler. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, sir. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Matthew J. Strickler, do solemnly swear. I, Matthew J. Strickler, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me all of the duties incumbent upon me as secretary of natural resources as secretary of natural resources to the best of my ability to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god congratulations thank you Ron.
This next individual is someone that I've long admired. The Moran family has served the Commonwealth well for many, many years, and your brother, Congressman Moran, is here um, continuing to serve as Secretary of Public Safety and Homeland Security, Brian Moran. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Brian J. Moran, do solemnly swear. I, Brian J. Moran, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge all of the duties incumbent upon me all of the duties incumbent upon me as secretary of public safety and homeland security as secretary of public safety and homeland security to the best of my ability to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god congratulations thank you sir. So this is a big day for our next secretary. She got to come to the upper chamber, the Honorable Shannon Valentine, served for a few years down the hall as delegate from the Lynchburg area, ably on the Commonwealth Transportation Board, and is our incoming Secretary of Transportation, Shannon Valentine. Secretary, we're going to have to do this twice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, sir, I am. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Shannon Valentine, do solemnly swear. I, Shannon Valentine, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as secretary of transportation as secretary of transportation to the best of my abilities to the best of my abilities so help me god so help me god congratulations <laughs> Governor Northam was able to look past the fact that Carlos is a graduate of the Citadel and has asked him to stay on as our Secretary of Veterans and Defense Affairs, Carlos Hopkins. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Carlos Hopkins, do solemnly swear. I, Carlos Hopkins, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me all of the duties incumbent upon me as secretary of veterans and defense affairs as secretary of veterans and defense affairs to the best of my ability to the best of my ability so help me god so help me god congratulations thank you chief thank you.
Rita Davis will serve as counsel to the governor. Rita comes to the governor's office from across the street and the attorney general's office after several years at Hunt and Williams and started her career as a police officer in Lynchburg. Rita Davis. you come up a little bit more. There you go. Good. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am, sir. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Rita Davis, do I re solemnly swear. I, Rita Davis, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All of the duties incumbent upon me. As senior counselor to the governor. As senior counselor to the governor. To the best of my abilities. To the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Workforce development has been the top priority for Governor Northam, making sure that folks have the right skills for the jobs that are available today through apprenticeships and through our education system in the state. And uh, he has promoted this position to the cabinet level because it's that important to him and it's that important that we get this work done during this administration. Dr. Megan Healy will serve as Chief Workforce Development Advisor for the Governor. Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, I am. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Megan Healy, do solemnly swear. I, Megan Healy, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And I'll faithfully and partially discharge. All of the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As Chief Workforce Development Advisor to the Governor. As Chief Workforce Development Advisor to the Governor. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. So per the Code of Virginia, the Secretary of the Commonwealth serves into the next administration for some certain number of days. I'm told that the Secretary of Commonwealth is a very special position. I don't have to be reminded about that. So the Secretary will be sworn in later, uh, but she will come up now, Secretary Kelly Thomason, and be pinned. Is that correct, Secretary? But you can see uh, what a great lineup, right? So let's give all these cabinet members a round of applause.
I would also like to thank Chief Justice Lemons. Thank you so much again for doing this. What a great afternoon. Thank you. We're going to take a photo of the uh, newly sworn in cabinet, and then there will be a reception in the Patrick Henry Building. I hope all of you all can join us this afternoon. Thank you all so much.